Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. As I speak, Nick and I are in our rooftop tent. We slept in it last night for the first time ever, but we are just getting up and are going to get ready for the day. We are in the Florida Keys and the first thing on our list is Cuban coffee. <laughs> headed towards Cuban coffee. We are staying about an hour from Key West in Bahia Honda State Park. And we got in so late last night that we couldn't see anything. But this morning, we're finally seeing the destruction from the hurricane. It doesn't look like any businesses are out because of it. There's definitely a lot of rebuilding going on. For me, the most noticeable difference is the vegetation just from driving down the highway you can see how much the vegetation has been ripped out and especially in Bahia Honda State Park where we're staying it's very noticeable so I'm going to show you guys the map that the park ranger gave me and the rangers there were so sweet by the way when you get in you are not allowed to go through the eastern part of the island. It is all closed. The entire shoreline is closed and you're not allowed to access it from the water either. It's completely shut down. So there's only a tiny portion of the park that's even open still. So it'll be interesting how that compares to Key West since Key West is, you know, one of the biggest tourist attractions. If the, I mean, it's the biggest tourist attraction in the Keys. So We'll see if they've rebuilt faster, if it hit as hard. The eye of the storm might have been back towards Big Pine Key where, to me, most of the damage was noticeable, but I'm excited for the day. <laughs> Cuban coffee was so good. We uh, posted up on the beach for a little bit and on a dock and got some computer work done. It's about one o'clock and we are going to go hit Duval Street for a little bit before heading back to the state park and hopping on my, I was gonna say soup, but it's a sup, my stand-up paddle board, so. <laughs> Life for the difference, got us feuding on the half-fills in my court. High five right there, good boy. <laughs> High five. There we oh. go. Oh. 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 oh, there you go. Good boy. <laughs> good job. Well, hello. <laughs> I am not in the keys anymore. Editing Ally wanted to come in and tell you guys a little bit about what the rest of our day was like because as you saw, we had some car issues. This is such a freak thing, such a weird story. We tried to start the truck and it was kind of acting like the battery was dead. It wasn't starting up. We had the guy who was running the parking lot pull his truck up, try to jump us. 
didn't work. Tried calling AAA, it was just a mess. And finally, before we were about to call a tow company to come, I was watching Nick as he was trying to turn it on and there was this weird error message popping up and I can't remember exactly what it said off the top of my head, but I'll put it on the screen now. I Googled it real quick and I found out that there's this special chip that goes inside the key and we had been having troubles for like two days prior to this with like the key staying together. It kept breaking apart and the battery would fall out and this little chip. And so Nick put the little chip like in his pocket, but it wasn't actually with the key. And that is why it wouldn't start. It wasn't starting because that little chip wasn't there. It's some kind of protection that the truck has from your truck getting stolen, essentially, which is crazy. So that did it and we did get the truck started, but it was already so late that we just decided to stay on Duval Street for the rest of the day, which was a lot of fun. Then, the next morning, we went on our very first offshore fishing trip ever. Yes, he's there, he's there. Okay, stop right there. So if you haven't seen that yet, oh my god, go watch it. It was so cool. We caught Vermilion Snapper, which is one of the best tasting fish ever. And then this huge king mackerel, which was so cool. Anyways, go watch that video and you can see the whole process. It was so much fun. That was the end of our Keys trip. So I just wanted to come on here and kind of wrap up this video. Editing Allie always freaks out whenever I don't have like closing clips. I had just kind of left it hanging with filming which I do sometimes, but right now, Nick and I are actually headed out for a stand-up paddleboard fishing. I was gonna say extravaganza, it's not really an extravaganza. I'm hyping this up, but <laughs> really, I'm just going fishing for the first time on my stand-up paddleboard, so. I didn't get to do that in the Keys, but I'm gonna do it right now. That'll be the next video though. But before I go, I want to remind you guys that I will be holding a 25K giveaway as soon as I hit 25,000 subscribers here on my channel. So if you have not subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Once I hit 25K, we'll have a week long extravaganza and there will be giveaways in every video that I post for a week and I'm so excited and I'll see you guys in the next video.